Hi friends, my hair's a mess. I just got gas and it was so windy outside and now my hair is crazy. Um, I just had a little morning to myself. This is gonna be TMI, but I went and got a Brazilian wax for the very, very first time. It was not, it was not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't that painful. It wasn't even that awkward. Um, mostly it was just, I mean, it was, it was mostly awkward because I'm bad at small talk and I'm just like an awkward person in general. Um, I hate like getting my hair done, getting my nails done, anything like that where you have to like interact with people because I'm just like really awkward. Um, and then I also got this scrub at the wax place. Um, a sugar, this is Lala Licious in Sugar Reef. Um, whipped sugar scrub. I'll open it and show it to you when we get inside. And then I also went to Five Below, um, and then I got Starbucks, and then I got gas. So I had a little warning to myself. I just, I finished up Christmas shopping. I'm done getting presents for my kids. I'm still going to do a, um, what I got my kids for Christmas, but I'm going to share with you what I got at Five Below just now. Most of my kids' gifts are from Five Below, because I mentioned months ago, like two months ago, that I was doing this thing where every week, like starting in October, like every week I got each of my kids one present a week. And most of the presents that I got them are from Five Below. Like I just go to Five Below and get them each one thing. Um, so I got some stuff this time, but this last week I'm doing it. Next week I'm getting stocking stuffers. I think I'm just going to make it really easy on myself. Go to Dollar Tree, get all of their stocking stuffers from Dollar Tree and then be done with it. Um, <clears throat> anyways, here's what I got them. My... Got this one for my six-year-old um, because her sister is also getting a ukulele. She had one before, but her sister just broke it. And so I was getting her sister a ukulele because her sister loved hers, but then her sister broke hers. So she's getting a new one for Christmas. These for my son, glow in the dark headphones. Um, and they're orange. I thought he'd like those. This also for my son, it's a little Jurassic World Dominion. I got my two older kids more than one. Um, it's like a little play set. He has like so many Jurassic World Legos. And so I thought this might be good to go with the Legos. And then I didn't get anything for the baby actually, but like she's one year old. She doesn't need as many presents as the big kids. Um, and even some weeks that I've been doing this, like some weeks I get her something, some weeks I don't. Um, this is for my two older daughters, these little crybaby toys. They love the crybaby show. so. I got this one's Lady and this one's Dreamy. And then um, these are going to go in their stockings. But I just got two big things of Play-Doh and they both came in different colors. So there's how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 12 total. So they each get three in their stocking. But like after they open their stockings, all of our Play-Doh just goes in the same tub and they all share it. Um, and then I did get two things for myself. I got this like mauve bralette. And then I got these like, they're really light flowy sweatpants. They seem really comfortable. Just black, really light sweatpants. And that's it. So I, I'm done Christmas shopping for the kids minus their stocking. Um, Now I have to take all of this inside and hide it. And then I also got Starbucks. They were out of, my Starbucks was out of peppermint syrup. So I got myself and my husband each. I got myself a tall caramel brulee latte because I am still eating really healthy. Oh, um, I am taking a break from working out though because if you saw my last vlog, I've been really, really sick. And then I just got this wax. So I'm going to start working out again on Monday. Today's Thursday, I had to take a little break start up again on Monday. Um, this is my husband's also a caramel brulee latte, which I actually, I do love their caramel brulee lattes. Okay. So that is what I did. That's how I spent my morning and I'll see you guys in a bit. We just got Panera for lunch. I got a Caesar salad and mac and cheese. And then I also got this green tea, but they um, were out of the like cold cups. So they put it in a hot cup, but look at, they have like their um, bags and cups all like decked out for the holidays. It's super cute. And then here's also the sweatpants and bralette. 
I love them, especially the bralette. Um, for only like a five dollar bralette for five below. It's really, really nice. Sweatpants feel, I mean like the sweatpants feel like five dollar sweatpants. Um, they're also like short on me, which is nice because usually um, sweatpants are like really kind of baggy on me. So these are medium. I probably could have gotten a large. I'm guessing that they're probably like tween sizes um, since it's a medium and it goes up pretty high on my leg, but I don't mind it because usually things are baggy on me. Also, we're gonna do tacos tomorrow night for dinner and I always, always get these nacho cheese taco shells. Um, they're my kid's favorite and honestly my favorite too. I think they're delicious. But look what I found. These ones are Takis taco shells. So I'm gonna try these tomorrow. My husband doesn't like Takis and my son um, is starting to get into like spicier foods. So he said he wants to try them, but um, we'll see if he likes them or not. There's a good chance I got this whole box just for me. Um, but doesn't that just sound so delicious? I also love getting this bigger kit because it does come with um, taco sauce and the seasoning mix for your um, ground beef. It does only come with one though, so I do also, I did also grab just some cheap taco seasoning mix um, because it's not enough seasoning for um, all the beef we need. Hi friends, <clears throat> I am a mess, but we have soccer games all day today, so before I start getting ready, I went and got my husband a nice and coffee, some much needed caffeine. He got, he wanted a pumpkin spice latte. This one's his. Um, cups are so cute. They kind of remind me of like Louis Vuitton. Um, he wanted a pumpkin spice latte. I was like, dude, it is peppermint season. And then I got peppermint mocha. Um, just at all because I'm still, you know, eating healthy and whatnot. So, I'm going to go get ready and we're doing the soccer mom thing all weekend this weekend. Okay, you guys, so my new tree skirt came in. If you saw last vlog, I talked about how this pink tree skirt is like translucent and it doesn't look good um, against my floors and it also like is kind of cheap and bunches up real easily. So I ordered this super cheap um, white one off Amazon and like you can even tell the silver on it is like starting to flake. Um, but it doesn't matter because I only ordered it so I could put the pink one on top and then um, it would come out more pink. It does have like a really pretty snowflake design. I just literally got the most inexpensive white tree skirt that I could find on Amazon. Um, but I think it looks pretty good with the pink on top. I might still sew it just so it like doesn't move. Um, but that's what it looks like with my pink tree. Let me get like a little further away. So now it actually looks pink and it also came with a stocking. Let me show you that. It came with this stocking, which has like the same um, like metallic snowflake design as the skirt, but it's not the um, metallic isn't rubbing off on this. I think the metallic's rubbing off on the other one because I have the pink like sequins stacked on top of it. So I'm guessing the sequins are like scratching off the metal um, or the metallic, but like whatever. It does not matter because you, I didn't get it for the design anyways. I just got it for the color, like I said. So I just put this over here next to these two also snowflake. I wasn't sure how to put them, if I should do like white, blue, white, or I don't know. So I just have it like this for now. And then here's our tree skirt that goes with our normal tree. Earlier I had like all the stuffed animals on top of it, or like last vlog I had all the stuffed animals on top of it, which is usually how we decorate, but honestly it always stresses me out because the kids want to play with the stuffed animals. Um, and so like by the end of the day, they are never like, they're just thrown around the house. They never look good under the tree. Um, and so I am just... I just put them in the kids' rooms um, for the kids to play with, with the exception of these boxes, which are like, they're present boxes. Um, and then this little guy, which isn't really like, he's filled with, um, I think, rice. And so he's kind of heavy and not really as much for playing as the other stuffed animals. So I put them on top of the TV stand. 
and you know there's the normal tree all set up and there's the barbie tree the barbie tree looks kind of awkward because the branches like i don't know aren't as full on the bottom it looks better from like a higher angle um so i don't know what I, what i should do if i should put something to cover the like stem the, i don't know the trunk the bottom part of the tree um but that's how we have it for now okay you guys i just built the flash is on on my phone because the lighting in here is not good but i just built this bookshelf for all of my books um about a year ago like we reorganized all of the kids rooms and i put all of my books um in a box in the garage so i finally got a bookshelf for myself um and i organized them all i really don't have a lot i wish i could have like a big like library filled with all of my favorite books and all of my favorite series but i like i use audible a lot i use kindle unlimited a lot i used to go to the library a lot i don't that much anymore mostly because like there's so many books on Kindle Unlimited that are literally I can get them on my phone and so I read through all of those and I just never go to the library anymore but I used to go to the library a lot um and so like all of my favorite books that I've read or listened to through those like I don't own a physical copy of and I wish I did just for like collection purposes so I could display them whatever um so these are all of the like quote-unquote adult books I own. All of the children's books are in my kids' rooms, but um, I did, I only have the first four Harry Potter books. I did go on eBay and I ordered the last three, um, and then there was like a buy three, get one free deal. So then I also got my sister's keeper, which is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, so I have those coming in, um, but here's what we've got going on. They're not very organized, by the way. I kind of just put them on like whichever shelf they would fit on. But I so, so wish that like I had, you know, entire sets or whatever. And a lot of these, like look at this one, for example, I have like a soft cover paper back copy of like one. And then the second one in the series, I have the hard copy for, what else do I have? Same with Divergent. I have like a paper of the first and then hardback of the, the other two. And it drives me insane. And then also some books like, um, where is Hunger Games? Like Hunger Games, I wish I had the entire setup because I love Hunger Games. It's one of my seri favorite series of all time. It's just not a priority to like buy books just so they can like be on display and I can read them like every few years. Like I haven't read Hunger Games probably since I was like 20, 21. But I would still like to have the whole series, you know? But um. That's what we're working with. I was thinking of maybe like filming videos right here. I do have this suitcase right here, which isn't very aesthetically pleasing, but I have Christmas presents hidden in there. I've mentioned this before. If you ever need a good place to hide Christmas presents, hide them in a suitcase. Um, but yeah, and this is just a cheap bookshelf from Walmart. Also, I have these, which are next on my to be read. I have a, I have a whole to be read list on freaking Kindle Unlimited and um, Audible. I use those the most but um a friend just gifted me a discovery of witches and then this Zeus grants stupid wishes I've had for a long time and haven't read it yet so those I put up there because I need to read them but here's what we're working with it's also raining tonight and y'all know I love the rain I wish we would get some snow though but I'm so happy that it's raining and just look how beautiful the um, Christmas lights look and the reflection of the rain at night. I love it. Hello friends! Okay, first I'm filming in front of this bookshelf. I feel like it needs to be more. Also, my tripod is keeps going crooked. Maybe eventually I'll just get this same bookshelf and 
put it right here because I have the space for it. But currently, I don't even have enough books for this one. Anyways, um, I'm going to do a little bit of, ma of a mail haul. First off, the, this first thing is something that I ordered off Amazon, and it is just these eyebrow razors. And this was a big pack, I think like 40, yeah, 40, and I think it was like seven bucks. Um, and the other packs were like 12 for five bucks. Um, and I use these all the time to shave my face, but also it like exfoliates your face really, really well when you shave your face. And I also use them on my eyebrows. I never pluck my eyebrows anymore. I just, I mean, I am trying to um, grow them out as best I can. I've been trying to grow them out for years. I think this is the best that's gonna happen, um, but I do like to shave the little, I don't get a whole lot of stray hairs, but I'll shave like the little blonde hairs that I get underneath. Um, so these are great and a great deal, and these are the ones that I always get, um, but I've never seen them in a, a, a pack of 40 before, so great deal, got these. And then, y'all know I use Influencer. I have not gotten an Influencer box in a really, really long time, um, they recently updated their app and what they used to do is they used to send you a survey to your email. You would fill out the survey and then based on the results of that survey, they would decide if you were a good fit for, um, a Vox box, which that's what these are called. These are Vox boxes. It's free samples for you to review on their site. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I haven't gotten an email from Influencer in a really long time. I went on their app and I had like a bunch of surveys to fill out. Um, so I guess they just don't email you the survey anymore. You have to physically like check your app and see if there's any surveys that you are able to take. Um, so that's what I did. And I took the surveys like the week of Thanksgiving. Um, it's the first week of December still, and I've already gotten two boxes. So if you use Influencer, definitely make sure you are checking your app because they are not emailing you the surveys anymore. Anyways, so first box, um, this beautiful blue box. This would be great. I'm going to keep this because it would be great to like put a Christmas present in. Um, we've got some little cards. This is the Winter Care Box box, and this is just about OxyClean odor stuff. Um, because they sent a little sample of OxyClean Odor Blasters. I'm pretty sure I've used this before. I'm pretty sure I just got a sample of this from Walmart. I can't remember who's, I, I got some sort of odor thing. Um, and then a Playtex, uh, tampon. There's three tampons in here and a coupon to save $2. That's nice. And then I think this is a perfume. Madagascar Centella Skin 1004. So here's the box. Let's open it up. I'd like to open it up without um, ripping it. Okay, so it is not a perfume. I think it's a face serum. Drop an appropriate amount to and evenly apply to the skin. Pat to promote absorption with Centella Asiatica Extract. Anyways, it's in a little dropper bottle. I've never, ever, ever heard of this brand before, so excited to um, give it a try. And that is everything. This big box is just tissue paper. They kind of a waste of um, cardboard, but like I said, I will definitely be using that to like put Christmas presents in. It is a great um, box for gifts. And then here's the other one. It is um, Fever Tree mixed with the best. And I think these are just like sodas that are made to be mixed with alcohol. So, because it says mix with your favorite spirits and your favorite people. So premium spirit plus premium mixer plus quality garnish equals perfect serve. So I'm going to try this with alcohol, maybe this weekend. And they came bubble wrapped. They are in glass bottles. Okay, so here are the two bottles. We have Fever Treat Distillers Cola and Premium Ginger Ale. Really interesting to make a cola and ginger ale just for mixing drinks with. Like, why don't you just use Coke and regular ginger ale? Um, but the cola says... 
crafted for whiskeys and rums from the finest distilleries. And then ginger ale says made with natural flavors, including exotic gingers. Um, I have no idea what to mix with ginger ale. So any suggestions leave in the comments below. Um, but that is going to be it for today's vlog. I am trying to make my vlogs a little shorter. I really do like filming in front of the bookshelf. Um, I think it's just like a nice change in front of, instead of like in front of my shower curtain. I should probably move it over to cover this plug though. So it'd be nicer. And then eventually this will not be in my room anymore. But like I said, we're hiding Christmas presents in there. So it's in here for the time being. Um, but that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.